Hello, team of fans. Tonight we're discussing season six, episode 17, Werewolves of London, with special guest Ellery Sprayberry. Stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Yes, we're here discussing season six. Episode 17, Werewolves of London with Ellery Sprayberry, who plays Tyranny on the show. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Again. Thank you, yes. I love this shirt. You look very <laughs> lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'm your host this evening, Kristen Elizabeth Snyder. You can follow me at Cinematic Escape. <laughs> joining me, the lovely Elena Jordan. Hey, you guys can find me on Twitter at Elena Jordan and on Instagram at that Elena Jordan girl. And Ryan Malley. Huh, where? Oh, me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm Ryan Malley. You can find me at Ryan Malley everywhere. Um, and also at youtube.com slash AfterBuzzTV with the best fans in the world. Always. Again, no matter how many times we do this show, you're always here. We love you. <laughs> we love it. And we're real excited to have Ellery Sprayberry here to my right. She's so lo lo even lovelier in person than she is around, yes. you know, surrounded by dead bodies and, and werewolves. Sure. <laughs> if you can believe I that. I know it's hard to believe, but it's, it's totally true. She's glowing. Aww. And if you have a question for Ellery, as we have many, you can give us a call tonight at 424-256-1729. That number's going to be in the bottom. So you can give us a call and ask her all your questions about Team Wolf. And mm -hmm. I have a question to start off. You know, I know you got thrown into, you know, a set of people who have been on the show for years and your brother Dylan's on the set. Can you just talk about the experience of being thrown in that scene? Um, yeah, it was an amazing experience being thrown in with uh, my brother, which is like amazing that we work on the same <laughs> show. It's like his show, but it was so cool that I got to be in it. Um, but everyone is so professional and just like a family that it was so fun to be with all of them, and I was I hung out on set before I went in, so everyone was Aww. like, Ellery, when are you coming on the show? <laughs> They'd be like, Sprayberry, like, that was our name, like, Ellery Sprayberry, like, come on, like, what are you doing? Um, so then finally when I got to come on, and Jeff uh, wrote me in the show, it was just, like, a big party, and everyone was Aww. so nice, but it was so fun working with my brother, like, that was amazing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what is it like to work with your brother? I remember, I have two little brothers, okay. and one of them I worked with at a restaurant, you know, and so mm -hmm. when he started, I would... I would play jokes on him, like, you know, hey, hey, Connor, you know, we're, we're out of ice. Can you go run run next door to Old Chicago, get some ice mix? <laughs> You'd be like, oh, ice mix, I'm on it. There's no ice mix. Come on, it's frozen water. So, I mean, Aww. did anyone, I mean, you know, kind of have fun with you on set a little bit? Any I mean, pranks? What'd you guys do in yeah. your downtime? I'm sure um. people ask you this, like, twice a day. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've thought of this question before, oddly. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no pranks really. Um, but we did like mess around. We um, we played music and we sang and. Uh, but all the times, because Team Wolf is usually shot at nighttime. Right. So all the times we were had downtime, we were off. We would be in our trailer sleeping, Aww. or we'd be like by the heaters, like <laughs> trying to get warm. Um, but we all we all hung out though. And yeah. but working with Dylan was cool. Dylan and I have always been close ever since we were little. Mm -hmm. So to be able to work together on a great show is really fun yeah so it was good looks yeah. like we yeah. have a uh, oh, looks like we have a caller on the line are they still there okay let me see that number real quick how did you feel when it's... you got the script that was like and then Tierney and Jen get shot so because... sad <laughs> so sa I was so sad and I was like oh like you can't at first I thought you couldn't see it on camera and then I was like oh maybe we come and then I was like no no, we Aww. shot it, and Brandon and I were like, "Oh, darn!" Like, no, but it was it was great just to be on the show, even for an episode. It was it was a great experience. Um, Looks like we have a caller. If we want to take yeah. it, are we uh, online? Caller, what's your name? Where are you from? Kawante from Florida. I'm sorry. What's your name? Kawante from Florida. Kawante okay. from Florida. What's the weather like yeah. there? Thank you How so much you? for calling in. <laughs> It's raining really hard. You're like, like surviving monsters right I now, know. and you're calling to talk to Ellery Sprayberry. Oh That's God. so sweet. <laughs> I couldn't miss out on an opportunity. Oh, what's your like question for Ellery? On the roof, just like <laughs> trying to get Ryan a signal. Ryan stole my first question. I did. <laughs> Better, better I was gonna watch ask yourself. her what it was like working with her brother, but okay, I have another question. Yes. All right. 
Okay. Is Dylan Friedman eating like his character, Liam? Mm. Oh, Whoa, that is a good um, question. Dylan? Yes, he can. He's a little bit like Liam because I feel like Dylan can be angry. He's a little bit angry. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting the down and dirty tonight on After Buzz. Um, no, but but also he can be innocent and and have that part of him too Aww. come out. So and he's so sweet. So I think I think Liam can um, get mad but, and do things, but good things because he gets right. mad, you know, mm -hmm. um, because people like kill his friends or whatever that is, and that hasn't happened obviously. Um, but things like that that he takes that out in good ways, and he's like really sweet. And I think that he is like that. Yeah. Aww. So all the best parts, Aww. all the best parts of Liam Dylan is, yes, and all the worst go. parts he ain't. He ain't. <laughs> See you at Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Oh my gosh. Did you have one more question, Calante? Yes. Okay. If your character wasn't killed, <laughs> what would your character be doing on the show, and who would you want to be a love interest? Oh. oh. Um, with the well, hard hitter, I'm gonna sit back I with my popcorn it. and just. Um, Zhang is my boyfriend on the show. <laughs> For that episode, he was my boyfriend. Okay. So I'm assuming that I would still be with him. But if I wasn't with him. I would... Oh! Yeah, he was my boyfriend on the show. I feel like they didn't make that obvious. Like, I didn't see you guys see, kiss there, or anything. I know. But there were a couple of times where, like we like were like holding hands. I or did whatever. see that. Yeah, was kind I of, like, saw subtle. it. It was implied that you guys um, were dating, just not the yeah. Beacon Hills level of dating, exactly. which is like <laughs> making out on the lockers. I think that they probably glass. didn't want to make it too like you know much. They, because, they didn't want us to care, care that much us. about it. Because yeah. it's like yeah. you know. Um, but if I was still on the show, I would be fighting all the hunters and just trying to get them all gone and. Um, yeah, that's what I would be doing. And who's the love interest yes. if not Brandon Jang? Um, <laughs> I know, I know. Tyler, I, I mean Tyler. Yes. I mean Tyler or Shelly. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we have Sean Riley in the building and we can get a camera on him. He is her publicist and this is just news to him it looked like. <laughs> No, oh, she it. no no no, but no, but she's my girlfriend. She's she's mm -hmm. great. Um, no, but Tyler, yeah, yeah, Tyler, has to be. I love Shelly though too. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah, Shelly. Also. I mean, she's you know, why not? Hilarious. <laughs> she's killer, literally. Yeah. Literally. So sweet. Yeah. yeah. Calante, Excellent questions. Thank man. you so much for stay calling safe. in. Yeah, stay safe. Brave that storm. Oh, Ellery, I love your top. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Top. I love this top. Thank Ellery, you like, I think you need to start your own line. Seriously. Yeah. You just have good style. I, I like the two different like earring links too. I've been staring at those. You just have great style. Yeah, we're buying. <laughs> yes. We're buying. Where can we yeah. follow you, by the way, if they're not following you? What's your Twitter um, handle? My Twitter is Ellery Rose One, and then my Instagram is just Ellery Sprayberry. Now, why Perfect. Rose? Is that a middle name? Middle name. That's, and Ooh. so there was already another Ellery Rose. Yes, there's already there's already an Ellery Sprayberry. On thought, we gotta kick her out. So, yeah. I thought Ellery is such a unique name. Where does that come from? Um, my mom found it in a book, actually, which is like not that exciting, but it's a it's a unisex name. It's actually it was more of a guy's name, but now it's unisex, and so she was always really interested in names like that, and so she was like Ellery, I like that name, and it was between Lily. So my name is Lily. Uh, my name is Ellery Rose Sprayberry, and so they're thinking about Lily Rose Sprayberry, like too many flowers. So yeah. they have hmm. Ellery instead, <laughs> yeah. um, which I like it. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. 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 too many flowers. Too yeah. many flowers. Calante, thank you so much for calling in. Right. I thank see you. They, they dropped his call, uh, but um, I got. Gosh, even calling him from Florida, I love the fans. Yeah, yeah that's and amazing. they're amazing. Like, that is amazing. <laughs> unbelievable. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the episode a little bit, and then I want to talk more about uh, Tierney's skills on the show because you were badass Thank with you. all your lovely, fierce moves. You were. Mm -hmm. They have this special coming on after the show, which Ryan and I actually guest hosted on mm -hmm. of the fiercest females of Team Wolf, and I feel like I we need that. to add you to the list. Yes, you were kicking <laughs> butt. I would love that. Yes. <laughs> Got it, done. There you go. So in this episode, we get some characters who we haven't seen for a long time. Mm -hmm. We get Ethan and Jackson coming back, and I didn't realize that they were together and in London. Mm, yes. But they're being hunted down, so mm. they got to come back mm. and help the pack, and unfortunately get tortured by Monroe. Yeah. <laughs> did so you met? Did you meet Monroe on set? Is she as fierce as she is on yes. camera? 
She is so, but she's so sweet though. Really? Yes, she's she's so sweet. She's like um, the villain woman of this season. Yeah, she's so sweet, um, but she is so fierce. Yeah. And like the minute that they call action, she's like, <laughs> and I just love it. On. Yeah, no, but she's so sweet though. I yeah. feel like all the villains on this show are always played by the nicest people. Yes, like, we'll have that's, people how, in. that's how it is though. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I love that opening scene of this episode. It was so cool with the classical music. The music? Yeah. And it was like, yeah, it was like Jason Bourne meets. Teen this Wolf was the one bit, yeah. too. Your last season when they were yes. pulling the props for it, that we I saw in the prop department, they had the tag for Ethan's London apartment, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh snap! <laughs> like what, what's going down?" So I'm glad we finally got to see. Yeah, Elena how works at uh, Universal Studios, so she gets to see Anytime all I the crazy props. I walk through the prop props. department, I'll just like look because I'm so nosy and oh, I that's just want to so see cool. what everybody's doing. So. I love that. <laughs> I was looking up there, because it looks like we have another caller, but I can't tell. You guys in the booth, let us know if uh, someone's trying to get through. So, also, then, yeah, I loved the music. I want to announce and let you guys know that I just found out. I'm friends with Dino and Laura Webb, who do the soundtrack for Teen Wolf. Dino does the sound, yeah. does the all, like, the... What is it? The, like, the orchestra music that we loved, and, like, just the sound choreography, and Laura Webb does the music. And we had been, we had them both on before, and we said, we love the music. You mm. guys have to do a soundtrack, and it's being released this week. So yes. they actually yeah. have, you know, all the music that That's Dino's right. created. Mm-hmm. So and then such a good also, idea. Laura has, like, her list, her playlist for Team Wolf is amazing. Elena and I are always, like, writing down the songs. Did you like that I, yeah, one? I love, I love it. that they'll always put up on the screen. Is they're, like, now listening, and they'll actually put the artist's name yeah. and the name of the song, which... Yeah. <laughs> They just put on the letters there. a call. (laughs) Thanks, guys. That's perfect. (laughs) Let's go ahead and take the call. Caller, what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, Can you hear me? Yeah. Now we can hear you. Uh, uh, Hi again. It's me, Arjun, from Georgia. Hey, Hey, how are you? From Georgia. You're supposed to be getting a storm, too, right now. Love that you guys are calling in. (laughs) Did you have a question for Ellery? Uh, Yes, it's for... Her herself, like if the Tommy's pack was still around, would you choose either that pack or Scott's? Ooh. Like you yourself, not your character. Oh, wow. Um, I feel like I would choose. Um, I would want to be loyal, but I think I would choose Scott's pack because mm-hmm. um, because I feel like that their pack is just so great, and I would want to be with them. And I know in the episode, I was like, you know, Scott McCall. Like I think that I, I will really want to. I want to yeah. be. I want to be in that pack. Um, I would want to stay loyal, but I think I, I would want to be in Scott's pack. Yeah. Well, so, if like Sotomi's that. dead, it's not like you're not being loyal. Anymore. <laughs> That's if true. But if she yeah. was still around, if the pack was still around, but I think I would. I would be in um, Scott's pack. Yeah. I like These that question. Are loyal. That was a good question. <laughs> do, you, do you have one more yeah. question? You want to go ahead? Mm-hmm. No, that's it. Okay, well, <laughs> thanks so much for calling in. I'm glad yes. you still have power and could make the call. Yeah. Thanks for calling. Take care. Yep. Be safe. Be safe. Do you want to howl for us okay. before you go? Thanks. He doesn't seem like a howler. Hello. Oh. Hey, he did it. Yeah. Yeah. He did it. Yay. Thanks so much for calling in. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, bye. Yeah, bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we get asked the fans to howl. I can't believe you did. Yeah. I didn't think he would. <laughs> I love it. Thank you guys for calling in. That you was a solid really howl, sweet. too. That was a yeah. really good one. All the I way from it. Georgia. So I'm going to ask another question before we get into the show. We had talked to you earlier, and you had mentioned that you're an a- aerialist. Like, yes. you do, like, silks mm-hmm. and trapeze I and do. stuff like that. So yes. did they? Did Jeff know that? Did they want to incorporate that at all in Tyranny's character? I would have loved to see that. Honestly, that would have been so cool. Jeff, yeah. I don't... Jeff knows, but I, they didn't. They didn't really put that in there, which that would have been super cool if yeah. they did. Um, a little bit of the um, of Tyranny's body language came from that. Like she's very, you yeah. know, tough and strong, and that that was a lot of that. Um, but Jeff did know that, but they didn't incorporate it. No. Oh. But yeah. It might be like an insurance cool. thing or <laughs> stunt thing. You know. Yeah. Maybe. I do my own stunts. She does her own stunts. So. I whatever. mean, I, I mean, I can. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but that would have been cool though. What made yeah. you want to get into that? Um, Dylan. So my brother Dylan, he was looking for a gym to train up because at that point he was. 14 or and he just booked Superman and they're Aww. like you need to get some biceps and he's like 13 year little girl like okay <laughs> so then, um, we go we go to this gym and they have um, 
uh, Focus Fish is what it was called, and I was, like, really little, and so, um, my mom was like, why don't you just try it, and I was like, I do want to try that, like, I've always wanted to do silks, and so ever since then, I've just been doing it, but that kind of happened oh, wow. that way, and so it was at the same gym, and it kind of just happened, yeah. That's so. an awesome skill. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, I, I, uh, wear silk pajama pants sometimes. Oh, no. I don't think It's that. basically the same. Just yeah, wanted to it contribute. Is the same. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, wow. That is cool, though. I mean, is there anywhere, do you ever post that kind of stuff? Yeah, you know, on your social I media? See you I do I'd post, love to see that. I do post, um, I need to start posting a little more. I used to post more. Um, and the place, the place I take classes at, they're kind of weird about phones being mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I, I will start posting more, take more videos and okay. post for you guys. Stay tuned, Thank guys. You. Stay tuned. Yes. Stay tuned. <laughs> Ellery, aerialist. Yes. <laughs> What's like your dream role? Mm. Wow. Um, like a country western movie. And I also want to be a villain. That's another thing. Like yeah. a, I want to, oh, wow. I want to be a okay. country western movie villain. That's, that would that's, be that's, that's the dream. You're gonna role. be like the guy who like strapped dynamite to the train. Yeah. Like, I think she'd probably be Why? a woman. Yeah. In that yeah. Movie. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what hey, country, I think we I think we live in you know in a time is now not the same as old where, timey. Where these gender barriers aren't there anymore. Okay, you guys. She can be the old timey, mustache twirling mm. villain who ties the damsel to the country western Ryan. I would love that. I'm just he's, saying, he's I, dressing you already yeah. for your I can dream see it. role. I can just, I can it. see it. He's added a mustache <laughs> and a monocle. <laughs> um, also, I would always want to be. I've always wanted to play villain, but also superhero, like Wonder Woman that just came out. Yes. That mm. very like empowering, like yeah. girl power. Like that's another thing I really want to do. That's Badass what, girl power. Yeah. Well, you're that's definitely we doing love. girl yeah. power stuff already. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what we yeah. love about Teen Wolf. All yep. the fierce females. Exactly. Yes. So let's talk about Malia, another fierce female who we love, mm. going to get Peter, her father, and trying to get him to come back in the pack. That yeah. was so sweet. I mm. love the fact that he was like, you know, I bought two cars, but one was for you. Yeah. I mean, we like love to hate Peter. And you know he's coming back because she makes him dig his claws into the back of her neck so that he can see everything she's been through. But I think he got a glimpse of some things that she didn't mean for him to see. Like, we find out later he saw her entire, like, relationship with Scott so yeah. far. Don't fall in love with a dead man. She's like, mm. too late. Like, don't say too late. Now you're just saying that you also think Scott's going to die. Like, guys. Yeah. Well, I agree with his concerns because Scott doesn't want to kill anyone. And yep. Peter and Dukillian, another guy, Gideon Emery, who we've had in studio in love, and we've had we've had Peter in too, mm. Ian Bowen, he's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, all these great guys, I'm happy to see them back, but they all yeah. understand that in order to fight this army, you have to be willing to kill. Yep. And, and Scott's so, going OG Batman yeah. and refusing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you actually killed a lot of people well, in this. Yeah, and, 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 <laughs> let's talk about that. You know, we have the the blue eyes, which we really killed innocent people, but like, it's they killed our pack. Yeah. So it's a very like, I don't know, because it's like they're innocent, it's but like what's innocent? Exactly, what's innocent? Because, because they killed they, our I pack. I feel like if they're murderers, then you kill the murderers. How is that? How I is feel that? like you didn't kill innocent people. I feel like exactly. the eye color is deceptive. Yeah, and that's. I feel like that. It should it be like a magic is. eight ball where it's like try again later yeah like, that's just... that it should because <laughs> the like, eyes it's, it's yes. true it's like they killed our pack so i mean what is that they killed our pack and and we killed them i mean we killed them because we maybe we shouldn't have killed them but i mean we were mad and they killed our pack so it's like no that's not okay okay so, but we were mad isn't a good reason to kill someone that's, <laughs> no, but, but, no, we, were mad. <laughs> we were mad because they killed our pack but that's that's a good reason to kill someone that they killed our pack, isn't? Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. It'd be hard for me to honestly well, like take vengeance instead vengeance. of self yeah. uh, defense, I guess, which is the difference. But yeah. I think this is a good yeah. time. To it's just proactive self defense. That's mm. all. It's proactive just like self defense. Yeah. Or post active. Yeah. <laughs> a preemptive this, strike. You know. This is a good time to ask you how similar Ellery is to Tierney. <laughs> Yeah. And their I've never systems. killed anyone, so that's not, that's not, uh, that's Thanks not Thanks for similar. not making us ask that in particular. <laughs> question. You're welcome, if you guys are curious. Um, We're like, let's see your eyes, let's see, okay. Wait, okay. here. I guess they are Ryan, blue, actually. She the asks, heart? I listen. We're getting pretty good at it. Can you hear the heart? This is a lot of heartbeats. Um, no, we are, we are similar in some ways. Um, she's very kick-ass and badass and strong, and in that way I'm that too. Um, but... 
she yeah she's she's a she's a wolf and she is sticking up for her tribe and i stick up for my friends and my family yeah. and so i feel like in that way we're kind of the same yeah Definitely. Yeah. I like that. Ryan, let's check in with the chat. What's the chat have to say? <clears throat> well, Melissa Rumble thinks that Peter will probably die protecting Malia. Oh. No. Which would be an interesting yeah. arc. That would. I kind of I kind of like it. I like it too. I love Peter, but the, you know, the season's ending and I mm. think he would go out strong protecting his daughter yeah. and her love for Scott. I think he's also going to be protecting Scott. And then Scott. Malia drive away in an awesome car. Yeah. I could definitely see that. I want to know if you guys think <laughs> the hunters really blew up his cars. Did they really or did he just come back and pretend like they did? I think they did, I think but they just didn't have enough in the budget for that I kind of special effect. I think he lied. I think that was the whole point, was that Malia was calling his bluff and was like, "That's you didn't come back here for that. Mm. I, like, want to see that his two cars are still totally fine, <laughs> like, episodes later, <laughs> Where'd right? he get the steering wheel? Yeah, though? that's what I really want to see. That'd be, mm. like, a huge surprise. So I've got some sad news. The sheriff was kicked out of his station. How do you guys <laughs> feel about this? I hate Monroe now. Yeah. Well, now? I've always cool hated her. Now. But now, now even more. Yeah. When she was trying to kill the innocent children, that was fine. But now that she's going against Delinsky, unbelievable. Not There's a new sheriff in town. I hate Boom. It. I just wanted to. This I, is I was dying to say that. Now. I wrote it down. I've been waiting to say it. Uh, no, it's uh, not cool. It is interesting. I liked how uh, the sheriff, you know, Sheriff Zelensky kind of uh, planted his feet and said, you know what? Like, yeah, you might be kicking me out, but you're not taking my gun, and you're not really, mm -hmm. you don't really have power over me. I know you have power of the situation, but not over right. myself. And that's a strong stance to take. Now, I want to know, you know, what does he do now? You know, after, that's like an act of terrorism, isn't it? Why can't, can he call, like, the Coast Guard or something, you know? Well, like, that he's been <laughs> mutinied? Yeah, like, hey, uh, by the way. Yeah. The civilians are taking over the station? Yeah. yeah. Like, what's the if high, what's the, what's Guard? the protocol? Mm. Do, you, do you call, do you call SWAT? I know there's another I guy know. out there with sunglasses who's going to walk in and go, I'm you in charge call now. Scott's dad, but the problem is Scott's dad was in the hospital got and got transferred up. to San Francisco. And Scott, Scott's mom. Oh, we'll talk about that one later. Well, we can right. talk about it now. I, I, we didn't. We were wondering last week who got blown up. Mm. You know, and w was it Gabe that did it? We find out Gabe actually shot up the house. Gabe yeah. shot up the house to give Nolan the credit for it, so that Monroe oh, wouldn't kill Nolan. Beating up my brother. Nolan. Ridiculous. And Roland. <laughs> and Roland. But the worst part is that, oh, there's a caller on the call. Let's take it. Caller, what's your name? Where are you from? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Oh, hi. Um, hi, I'm Alicia. I'm from Conoco Park. Hi. Alicia? Alicia? <laughs> Alicia? Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually on the chat. If you, if you oh. could see me, I'm like Billie Jean Girl 24. Billy Jean girl. Hey, I'm gonna go with that. Hey. What thanks for calling Hi. in. Do you have a question for Ellery? Billy Jean? Well oh yeah well yeah. Well I don't know if were you uh, like a, yeah, sure. a fan of teamwork before you were on it? Yes. And if so and if so, who were your favorite characters? Oh <laughs> everyone but Liam. Yeah, <laughs> everyone but, but Liam. Liam is terrible. Um no I was a fan of the show. Um uh. I, mean, I liked all the characters, um, but um, Styles. Oh, yeah. Oh, Love me too. O'Brien. That's always a good answer. Him. I mean, he's just great. Yeah. Um, but he was one of my favorite characters, and then of course Posey, because I mean he, yeah. he carries the whole show. Um, but not Liam. Not Liam. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really can't stand Liam. No, I, I love you, Dylan. No, I love. You. Um, <laughs> no, but every, the whole cast is great. Everyone on the show is great. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Billie Jean, do you have one more question before we let you go? Uh, well, if you could choose, like, if, well, well hold on. If, <laughs> who do you wish, like, to die? Because everyone has, like a, like, a character that they hate so much, they wish you would die. Mm. Do you have one? Liam. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 I love, no, I don't, I don't think I have, um, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, I don't think I have a character, no, I don't think I have a character that I hate so much I wish they could die. Gerard. Yes, yes. He kind of is responsible well, for your pack. That's true. Yeah, going down. Yeah. Mm. We'll kill off Gerard. Mm. Yeah. Because obviously he needs to die this season. I mean, that's what yeah. we need to do in order to stop this army is kill the chief and commander. Yep. 
Uh, thank you so much, Billy Jean, for calling in. Thank you. We look forward thank to your you. comments in the chat. We'll see you back okay. in the chat. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah, so, I feel like Gerard's got to go. He's got to go. Mm. He's got to yeah. go. Yeah, Monroe, too. She's unreasonable at this point. It's like, yeah, we get it. You were attacked and it wasn't a bear. But, like, what are the police going to say? Yep. This supernatural creature was on this bus. Yeah. You f you're being protected. Just go sit down somewhere and stop holding guns at all the people we love. True. Yeah. 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 So, but yeah. I'm really sad. Melissa McCall. Wow, she looked near death. I know. In this episode, I mean, she was like on her deathbed, just telling Scott, which that was a great line. She said, "You know what? Don't run. Please stay and fight." And that's his mother saying that. Yeah. yeah. She knows his life is at risk, but she knows what he's capable of, and I think that's really important to hear from your mother to know that your yeah. mother believes in you so Everybody much. Everybody does, and the yeah. which it's, the sheriff says the same thing when she's like, <laughs> you know you'd think that you can stop us you can't and he's like i didn't say i would i said scott would yes mm. well do you guys think that scott is gonna have to kill he's gonna have to yeah he doesn't want to that's of the whole point he's to. the alpha exactly. though but i mean i think that he he's an nah. alpha based on character nah, nah he'll find a way so? yeah, don't, don't do it scott don't do it. He'll find, find a, way a way not to kill people. Well, He'll just he... injure them really bad, and Peter will come in and kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Tie him up and then <laughs> give the dead like, blow. How has nobody made him just the most badass stun gun ever? <laughs> just like something that'll knock somebody out for like just days. Yeah. And then yeah. he can just like lock him up in a nice place because he's Scott. He'll be like, "Oh, I'm sorry. There's throw pillows. I hope you feel comfortable." If, <laughs> if someone if someone dies because of Scott, I think it will go down like it did for Styles. You know, it was kind of like mm -hmm. an accident, self defense kind of. You had right. no other choice, or like you know, Batman. You know, he didn't want to. He didn't yeah. want to kill Harvey Dent, <laughs> but he had no choice. You know, Batman, we forgive you. And Scott is kind of like a Batman but character. Still he's the hero. Character. He's the hero yeah. we deserve. Yeah. yeah. So, so Scott and Malia, they're trying, they realize that they need to build an army to mm. fight an army. The only plan left is to just fight. Yeah. So they're recruiting, which it now looks like we have, you know, Ethan and Jackson back in town. I'm sure they're going to escape Monroe. And I love how, you know, one of them just happened to be in a white, wet t-shirt. I love how Team Wolf just <laughs> always finds a way to throw the men of the show yep. in white, wet t-shirts. It's fantastic. Keep doing it. Thank yep. you. <laughs> and we then... We have to torture them by having close-ups on how attractive their chisel jaws are. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not torture Welcome for us, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> um, I always so, wear dark colors, just in case I get just splashed. Just in case you get splashed with water. I'm a, you know, I'm Ellery, a, I'm a classic If you broad. feel like yeah. it. <laughs> so they are so desperate to build their pack, though. They go to try to recruit the primal pack, who gave up electricity, and I saw Elena's notes. She wrote down the Amish of werewolves, <laughs> <laughs> which cracked me up. It's, that's basically that's really good. Are. I was going to write down all the like things they gave up, but that's that's the gist of it. What do they raise instead of barns? The roof. Because they're party animals. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. But we Never get there too late. <laughs> Unfortunately, they have the same fate as Satomi's pack. Yeah. The yeah. whole pack is dead and in a very violent way. Like, yeah. what Spiders is the. Spiders crawling out of your yeah. eyes. Yeah. Every mouth. The Nukate uh -huh. has come for them, and I hate this, but did you see Candyman, that horrible old scary movie where, like, the bees come out of the guy's yes. mouth? Yes. That's, what yes. this, this, that's what this reminds yeah. me of. And you've just got the spiders coming out of like, everyone's skull. It's so gross. Yeah, it's terrifying. I see a spider in my house, and I'm like, I have to burn my house to the ground. Like, if <laughs> millions One of spider. them crawled out, One like, that's, ugh, that's the worst way and to go. the spider's, go. like, this big, right? Yes! It's like, it's like, oh, my God, yeah. And then you're like, no. I'm like, it's going to kill me. <laughs> Gotta go. Spiders make you do irrational things. I was in bed the other night with my phone, and I just, yeah, a spider crawled onto my screen, so it was, like, illuminated into my... I just took my phone, which is, like, you know, no. kind of means a, a little bit, but I just throw it across the room. I would do Without even thinking. Way. And I was like, no, whoops. You know, and I had the headphones in, so it ripped out of my face. <laughs> I would throw it straight out the window. I got yeah. bit by a spider the other day, and it got really swollen and big. I was like, I hope I turn into Spider-Man. Right? That's the one thing. That 
<laughs> Listen, like, Spider-Man like, has given cat, all of us yeah. the irrational belief that we're going to be Spider-Man <laughs> I mean, if we well, get bit. At least maybe. I'll maybe. Be and then it doesn't happen. It just is painful <laughs> it and it so hurts and you're you sad and you have no powers. I like looking on the bright side. Man. I Always. I like that. Yeah. You guys, I don't like run away. I just like sit there when I see a spider. I'm like, do it! You're like, please be radioactive. Please just be cut radioactive. it off. <laughs> just cut it off. Please. I need superpowers ASAP. I just got broken up with. And I need I to kick this guy's butt. My ceiling. That's me. Well, I thought we were talking about spider bites. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Are you happened? okay? Who yeah. hurt you? Okay, Who I'm back. hurt you, Kristen? I'm back. And guess who else is back? Howlin. Mm. And he's dragging yeah. Lydia into the deep the, woods. Into the snow. To find the other face of the Nukate, which I'm kind of confused what this other face is. And it looks like Howen's coming back next week. And I think Casey Diedrich is supposed to come in and join us for the episode. But I don't, I'm kind of, kind of confused what the other face is. So they said it's a werewolf. And Aaron is one, is the Nukate, who we saw, or like the very first person who got like sort of the spider went in him. Mm -hmm. He's the yeah. Nukate. And then he got one, of, one of the <laughs> werewolves. Do you guys feel like it could be Dylan? Is the werewolf? Because he's the one that seems to be affected the most by the Nukate. Liam is freaking out the most. I could definitely see. I could see that. Yeah. I don't know. Look at her face. Are, is this your poker ah. face? Listen to her heartbeat, Ryan, quick. <laughs> Listen to her heartbeat. <laughs> That's what her heart sounds yeah. like? That's a great heartbeat. That is wow. awesome. Thank you. Groovy. <laughs> Groovy. So, Liam is uh, being affected by Suzuwena? <laughs> by, by the Nukate, so I feel like it could be. It could be Dylan yeah. and it could Aaron be. that need to join forces. He's acting uncharacteristically um, aggressive, so yeah. that makes sense. I think so. And so does her vow of silence mm. over here. Yeah. So I'll take Just that. But if they do silence. know, if it is full <laughs> Batman, and then Scott has to kill Two-Face, basically, I'm going to be like, all right, this is... If, if he actually, I, if he has to kill Liam, I'm gonna, I'll lose it. Scott's gonna, yeah. Scott's gonna will. kill him, hide his body in the woods, and then that's the actual body that he found in season one, and it'll be like a time loop. That's too much. Oh. Yep. You heard it here first, or last, depending on which time loop you're listening to. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Before we roll into <laughs> predictions, I want to ask you a few questions about your personal life. Ooh, okay. I got one. Okay, you go first. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been waiting for this one. Oh, wow. So, with a name, with a name like Ellery Sprayberry, mm -hmm. I gotta ask, if you could come up with your own product line out of these three, which would you pick? The Ellery Sprayberry <laughs> Perfume? Oh, wow. The Ellery Sprayberry Froyo Shop? Oh. Or the Ellery Sprayberry Luxury Pesticide? Luxury Pesticide! <laughs> Luxury Pesticide. Sprayberry is just a beautiful name, and you gotta start stamping Sprayberry it on stuff. That has to be. I got them all in line. I'll get them on the phone tomorrow. I'll give you, know, you know, I feel like I feel like Froyo. Yeah, I mean Sprayberry Froyo. Yeah, that just sounds tight, right? Yeah, mm. berries. Right. Spray yeah. Berries. You can literally Bear spray oh. the berries on the Froyo. Look at oh. pink sprayable berry. berries. Yeah. Sprayable berries. Yeah. Oh my God, pink berries. Step can we, aside. Can we come up with this? Yeah. You just did. I think this is in this development happened. right now. This is happening right now. No, yeah, yeah I just wanted Froyo. to. <coughs> pesticides. Well, but honestly, um, Pe oh. pet pesticides out I'll though. Put pesticides too. All right, okay. All right, we can do that one <laughs> as a plan B in case the <laughs> Froyo yeah. doesn't work we'll out. We'll do them together, and it'll be the worst. It'll be the Froyo It'll be like one store. You can do Froyo pesticides. You definitely shouldn't. You shouldn't do pesticide and perfume because people would get them confused. Yeah. Possibly. They could possibly swap those out. We're gonna move on to Elena's question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm so caught up in this like perfume aside now that I feel like perfume aside. Yeah, Ooh. you can't pesticide that smells pesticide great. Pesticide that smells amazing. No, guys. Uh, no. So okay. Your whole house smells good and is also fumigated. You were supposed to take us off this. There you go. Okay, I'm transitioning okay. into. <laughs> okay, sorry. If you could. Okay, so you were saying that you because you also really like the idea of doing like a female empowerment mm. type thing. If you could be any superhero, you mentioned Wonder Woman, but if you could play any superhero on screen, what superhero would you want to play? The wolf spider. Oh. You can't answer this. Oh, okay. Um, um, so I feel like Wonder Woman, and I already said that, but I feel like she's just so, 
amazing. The TV show Wonder Woman. Yeah. yeah. Which is being developed for your character. Yes. I that's, like that's, this. But I think, I think Wonder Woman because she's just so amazing and strong and... I mean, they all are, but I love I love her, and I love the movie that just came out. I think yeah. that that's, like, yeah. She was so uh-huh. noble and, like, fighting yeah. for an, yeah. for honest reasons. Yeah, exactly. I think it was something we could all relate I to. Exactly. Yeah. I can also see, can I say? I can also see you playing, if they ever come out with, like, an Indiana Jane you know, oh. kind of character. Oh. Yeah. That would be Honestly, cool. Honestly, yes. Yeah. Yes. That's, yes. That's, that's my answer. And you can be the villain Indiana or Jane. the... The hero. It's up to you. That would be awesome. If this you belongs be in a museum. Though. She's just going out, you know. <laughs> no, that's that's amazing. Vigilante like that justice for knowledge and archaeology. Indiana Jones. And whack, cracking a whip everywhere. It'd be great. I'd watch yeah. that. I want to get I'm a bit down. Apart over here. Phone down. I'm falling apart. That's wanna, how excited I am. I want to get a bit more serious. I want to talk about what made you decide to act. Wow. Um, well, I'm from Texas, so I've been out here since I was six, so for a long time. Um, but Dylan and I were kind of in, when we were little, um, model agencies would see us around. I was, when I was like five and six, I'd talk all, like, to everyone, and everyone was like, <laughs> she told me she's six, are you sure she's like five or six? And my mom's like, yeah, she is. Um, so in Texas, uh, in Houston, these model agencies were interested in Dylan and I, and Dylan kind of mm-hmm. started doing modeling when we were like really little, and then they were like, you know, you should kind of like get them doing some commercials, and so he would go in, and then I would go in with him, and, um... She and then the agency was like, "You just need to move them out to L.A. or you oh. need to stop." And so my parents packed everything up and wow. moved us out here. Yeah, my That's parents cool. shut up mom and dad. No, um, and so they brought us out here and kind of. My mom is a hairdresser, so she had a, she had a salon back home, and then my dad um is a hotel manager and he had a salon back. I'm um, not a salon, a hotel back home, and so. His hotel was being bought um, by a children's hospital. And so oh, it was wow. kind of a good time cool. for us to come out. He was like, all right, so let's go and move them out and try to get their careers going. And so my mom came back and forth for a long time, and then finally she sold her um, salon. Well, and did she do hair now? Because your hair looks amazing now. Did yes. she do this? Yes, she did do this. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Love you. Um, no, she does do hair. Um, is my shirt gets stuck? Okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> no, so we, Dylan and I kind of started together, but we played off of each other, and that's kind of how we both. Aww. And there's a video, a home video of me when I was like six, and I'm like, I want to be an actress. I think Sean brought like, a what? clip of that tonight. Oh, Go you have thrown in the clip, guys. Can we cue in the clip? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, I was like, but, what? I, really what? <laughs> but I hope that you post that later. I should because I'm yeah. like, I'm like six, and I'm like, I want to be an actress. <laughs> like it's all, and I literally am just like I'm, I'm like what and I watch this later I'm like that's like what that's crazy um, but yeah so ever since I was little I've always wanted to act and they moved us out here and ever since then it's been like great did you write that's your sweet. own like plays and write your brother into it did no. you do anything like that well, I no. <laughs> <laughs> we used to make we made short films together and we've made um, a lot of stuff like that no but, yeah so we have written like shorts together for fun and filmed when we were like on our like phones and when we were little. Yeah. I love that. You should really do something with that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I would we love should. That. Yeah. <laughs> what a great story. So I know that, you know, there's a lot of trials and tribulations coming out here and trying to break in the industry. There's a lot of people at home sitting there wondering how <laughs> they get to be on a TV show like you. Do you have, like, advice for people chasing their dreams of acting or just whatever they are, just continuing to chase their dreams? Do you have advice for them? Go for it. <laughs> Honestly, go for it. Because that's what what's what my parents did for me, and then that's what we did. And there's been t- there's going to be times where you want to give up. Because it's hard. Anything you want to do, anything good, is, is going to be hard. And so when those hard times come, just know, keep going, and just keep chasing them. And at some point, it'll pay off. Like, hard work will pay off, and that's just how it is. So keep chasing them dreams, and you'll get there. I love that. You'll get there. Amen to yeah. that. If not acting, where would we see you? Um, music, music. Music. I've I've always also really wanted to be a fashion designer, and which that's something that I might do at some point, anyways. But I think, and then if not, uh, direct a director, in in the in the business somehow. I think like fashion Mm -hmm. or directing or something. You're an artist. You're a performer. There you go. You're a star, kid. Thanks. (laughs) Thanks so much for coming on the show, Ellery. It's such a pleasure having you. We have a question in the chat before we. <clears throat> well, no, just a few more ideas. The chat okay. is loving, <laughs> you know, uh, putting, you know, imagining you as other characters, you know, in your okay. career down the road. We've got uh, Rapunzel. We've got Tink- Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. Oh, I like that Is one. Is it kind of a bun? 
Probably. I like that one. Which I can totally that see. Like to Tinkerbell had her own like series about the the trials and tribulations of fairy life in Neverland. I'd love to see that. Yeah. Because Honestly, it's right uh, it. and two another thing I thought of just because you just totally picture it. Um, if Powerpuff Girls did a live action, you could totally be <laughs> Bubbles. Yes. I would do I it. See that. That would be fun. Right? I love that. You're all bubbly and happy and cute. Like, I could totally see it. whoop And you'd probably kick some butt, too. <laughs> I love how many roles they're casting you for I know, tonight. Guys, yeah, I, I love, love it. it. According to them, your, your future is very busy. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. Keep it coming. Yeah, they, they love you. Nothing but love for Ellery Sprayberry in the chat. Yay. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Look at all these lovely the comments. Mm. Well, thank you to everyone who commented and called. Let's go ahead and roll into predictions. And I want to know... Your After Buzz TV prediction. Ooh. Ooh. I know you can't tell us too much, but if you're writing the end of Teen Wolf, because you know this is the end, we've got like three episodes left. Mm, so what crazy. happens if you're writing the end? Obviously, your character's still alive. I'll start you there. Okay. <laughs> so I, so um, <laughs> Zhang and I join uh, Scott's pack, uh -huh. and we get all the hunters to go away. However, we do that, we get them all to go away, uh -huh. um, and then it's left with us, and then we just we just walk away. And then I have awesome uh, music playing. Awesome music playing. Into, into, the, like, into the mist. I love it. Like that, you know what I mean? And yeah, lots, I do. lots of aerialist. Yep. Um, aerialist. And then you I'll be doing a bond uh, swing on, on the silks. silks and, yeah. Um, no, we, we get all the hunters down. And we get all, I think that's how you do it. I think you're from above. You yep. attack from above on your silks. I want to see that you just like, go down on a silk with swords. Just like, like yeah. slash the whole All right, ready? The whole time. Silks, swords, spiders, uh, I don't know, wolf man. Let's do a okay. screenshot in three, two, Wait, what one. Are we doing? What? What? I'm. They take screenshots. Yeah, I think they post it. Oh, I didn't know what was happening. What are you doing? Silk spider. We're on like... silks. All right, and you nailed it. <laughs> you nailed right, it. There we go. You okay. know who you are. You nailed it with that screenshot. Thank you so much. Yeah. Ryan, what's happening next week? Next episode. Next How's episode. Ah oh, man, you know what? Um, I think Sheriff Stolinski is coming back with his own army. Yeah, I think, I think so. I, I think he's coming back with help, with a vengeance. It doesn't say, I mean, he, he is playing by his own rules, which are still moral rules, but they're his own now, which is going to yeah. be fun to see him outside of He's going to be a sheriff outside the law. Yeah, rogue mm. sheriff. <laughs> Scary. Elena, what's Coming happening to next couch week? Near you. I am thinking that we may get a little check in with Styles and find out what's happening with Derek so. and that whole sitch because we haven't really heard anything else about mm. that. So I'm thinking maybe we'll get a little tease for that that they'll mm. wrap up at the very end. I think you're on to something. I think we're getting a lot more old characters and, yeah. and characters who have just been away like Styles coming back to help the pack fight this amazing fight. And I don't know what's going to happen, you guys, but I'm super excited excited because I don't want the town of Beacon Hills to die, but that's who we're fighting, so yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. it, it might be, uh, you know, it's a lower population than we're used to after this. Just make everyone snap out of it and chill out. Like, only Gerard yeah. needs to die. I think Gerard Monroe. needs to die. I think the Nukate yeah. needs to be taken care of. Yeah. I'm excited Howwin's coming back next week mm. to help us solve this mystery. He's going through an MRI, I saw. So hopefully they fix him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want Derek and Liam to be in the room and have just an awesome Superman reference. Like, I just want that really bad. <laughs> that was referenced, like, a bunch. And but we like, were sitting there, like, all laughing. My family, it was me, Dylan, and my parents. And Superman was referenced so much in the episode before yeah. mine. And, like, it was, like, that episode, and they went straight whenever they did both of them. And um, we were just, like... This kid, they keep referencing Superman. Dylan was like, we were all laughing so hard. It was great. Aww. It was so That's funny. Awesome. Yeah. It's nice to hear you guys all watch the episodes together. We all, we do. Aww. Yeah, he, we all, we all come that. over and we watch, we popcorn and like we, yeah. I love it's fun. that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in, Ellery. It's been such a pleasure to interview you. Thank you, guys. It's been so much fun. <laughs> Are you also on Instagram and Twitter? Which one can we catch up with you the most on? I so I know you said you don't post that much. Yeah, Instagram. I I post more on Instagram. Okay. It's just at Ellery Sprayberry, my name. Um, and then Twitter is at Ellery Rose One, and I post on Twitter too. But Instagram definitely I'm on more. Yeah, nice. awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much thank for you coming guys. in. Yeah, it was so much fun. Thank 
Thank you. Ryan, where can we follow you? You can follow me at Ryan Malati everywhere. Instagram, check out uh, Snapchat. We got behind the scenes. And um, thank you guys so much. Subscribe. I know we got only a few more weeks to go. Uh, but give us a thumbs up if you liked our show and our beautiful guests. Our feast, our, uh, sorry, <laughs> fierce female <laughs> fierce tyranny. Female. Yay! That's right. And be sure to go to MTV.com. Check out uh, Chris and I make uh, a little appearance in the f MTV's uh, Teen Wolf's Fiercest Female Moments, which, which should be cool to watch. Which we're adding tyranny. Yep. And her yeah, she's an official, yeah, she's an honorable mention in the fiercest females. Let it be known. Yeah. So thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you next week. Elena, where can we follow you? You guys can find me on Twitter at Elena Jordan and on Instagram at that Elena Jordan girl. And you guys can follow me, Kristen Elizabeth Snyder, at Cinematic Scape. Thanks again to Ellery. Thanks again to Sean on the couch. Thanks, for Sean. Yeah. We love Sean. He brings us all the Teen Wolf cast, and we love it. Thank you guys at home for calling in and your comments. We'll see you next week. Same Thank time, same place. Bye. Ow. 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 From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.